To access and use the Vermont Prescription Monitoring System database through RxEntry, please go to the Vermont Department of Health webpage. From here, select Contents A to Z. On the upper right hand side, select V for VPMS, and then select Vermont Prescription Monitoring System, which brings you to the home page. Next click Login. This brings you to the RX Entry home page, which features a picture of the Vermont State Capitol. Click on the Login button on the RX Entry page. Type your username and password in their appropriate fields and click OK. If you are a prescriber, your username is your DEA number and is case sensitive. If you're a pharmacist, your username will be VTRPH and your Vermont license number. Your temporary password was sent to you in an email when you registered with the VPMS. You were then prompted to create a new password. Take a moment to read the information on the screen. When you are finished, click on the I accept the above conditions checkbox to continue. Without selecting the checkbox, you will not be able to access the provider query screen. From the home page, click the Practitioner Pharmacist Query. This screen is where you will enter the recipient's information. An asterisk indicates required fields, last name and first name, and date of birth. For best results, a broad search can be helpful. The last two fields to complete are the dispense timeframe to and from dates. The information goes back to July 1st of 2008. However, the date automatically defaults to one year ago. Once all criteria has been entered or selected, click Submit. A list of recipients matching the provided criteria will be displayed under the Recipient Report heading. From here, select the desired recipient's name. Once you have the desired recipient's name selected, click Request. The recipient report shows the history of all controlled substances prescribed to the recipient, as well as other information pertaining to each prescription, such as the date dispensed, number of authorized refills, prescription numbers, and more information. When you are finished sorting, click Generate Report. The query has now been submitted and can be accessed through the View Query Status from the menu. A message stating that the query has been created and can be viewed when finished running will be displayed. Click View Query Status from the menu on the left side of the screen to view the query status. Once the status of a report has changed to Approved, Done, the Job Sequence ID field will contain a link to view the report. When you click on the link, a dialog box will open asking if you would like to open the report to view it, save the report to a specific location for viewing at a later time, or cancel to return to the previous screen. This is the final query report. From this screen, you can use the toolbar to save or print the report. Note, the query will remain in the database for 14 days after which it will be automatically removed. If you print a copy of the report, remember to follow your facility's protocols and policies regarding the destruction of confidential records.